And good evening to you from the Parc des Princes here in the French capital, Paris, the venue for tonight's action. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Paris Saint-Germain taking on Chelsea. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Kovacic. Oh, he looks threatening. Magnificent defending. A very effective clearance. And an astute piece of defending. And the PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Presnel Kimpembe plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Lionel Messi starts with Neymar in the wide positions. And handed the task of playing up front today is Kylian Mbappe. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. And he takes on the shot. Well kept out. Playing it in. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Thiago Silva plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. And the focal point in attack today, Timo Werner. Given away by Chelsea. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. Well, the goalkeeper dealt with it admirably. N'Golo Conte. Cut out by Kimpembe. Well, he likes to run at them. Shot attempted. Oh, did so well to deny him. And over it comes. Oh, super header. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Not increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. And a decent delivery. Well, good idea in terms... of the shot but not to be great strong tackle throw in forthcoming well possibilities in the centre Danilo Pereira here's Mbappe terrific block well, covering up defensively. There to take it away. Mbappe. Well, just leaning back a bit and over the bar. Rudiger. Slipshod passing. That is tackling of the highest order. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's given it away. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Well, those stats really do tell you everything. 
so many chances but yet so little end product at some point though you sense they're going to get the breakthrough really getting stuck in Messi and the referee has pointed to the spot a penalty it is and a chance for them to forge ahead and to add insult to injury it's a booking Stuart well I agree with the penalty I'm not quite so sure about the yellow card though can he make it 1-0 in it goes a well taken penalty Well, let's take another look. He chooses the right way to dive, but it's a good penalty because it's the height that beats him as it goes above him. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Aspili Quetta. And half-time coming up with PSG on top. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance to this point? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half-time if it stays like this. I'll try to build ahead of steam. Another corner it'll be. Trying to deliver it accurately. Not problematic for the keeper. And the danger clear. Well, not hard to read that pass. And the keeper not really taxed by that long range shot. Timo Werner space on the flank can they square the game able to get his body in the way so can Chelsea take advantage of the corner kick situation well he almost headed it in now PSG moving the ball forward what can they do from here a really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Verratti. Hakimi. Danilo Pereira. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, a good tackle. No way through. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. Excellent first half showing from Neymar in this game, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Well, the ball is moving once more. Not enough went to plan for Chelsea in the first half. Can they address what didn't go right? N'Golo Conte. Can he convert? And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Werner. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. A good and fair challenge. A 
with no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Conte. Marcos Alonso. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. But ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Well, those stats tell us that PSG haven't dominated the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Thiago Silva. Marcos Alonso. On to Werner. The delivery towards the back post. Very clear who got the last touch. So a corner coming up. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Let's see about the delivery. And taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. They've got it now, what can they do? Kovacic, and a tidy challenge. Now they've lost it. What can Chelsea do from this position? And deliver towards the back post. Well, it's gone in. A goal for Chelsea, who now are level. So back underway, they've leveled it at 1 1 here. No foul, PSG advantage, but no discernible advantage, and quite rightly, free kick awarded. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. It's a perfect challenge. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. Going well. Havertz. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Putting his body on the line. And taking it away and flag raised offside well that was always going to be offside he just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer and disappointing that it's gone out of play and fine work from Paris Saint-Germain to win the ball back Messi Mbappe, and just over the bar, really good effort. Rudiger. Marcus Alonso. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Werner. Well, no danger now. Ten minutes left for play. No real conviction in the challenge. Mount. And a timely intervention. Can he put them in front? Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Five minutes of the 90 still to go, and the teams cannot be separated.
Marcus Alonso. Timo Werner. Still level, but Chelsea on the attack. Near the end. Accurate ball in towards the near post. And a chance it is for Chelsea from the corner. A top save, and that keeps it all square. Well, you're right, Derek. A top-class save, and such an important one as well. That surely would have been it had it gone in. Oh, dear. Not a great effort, was it? Good use of advantage in favour of PSG. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. His fate lies with the referee who booked him earlier. Not the pass he had in mind. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn. And that is going to be all for this game. Well, we were treated to goals, but no winners in the end. Stuart, what did you make it?